Hi there! In this tutorial we are going to learn more about Block and how we can use it. This tutorial includes Block basics such as Block Provider, Block Builder, Block Observer, Block Listener, Block Consumer, Hydrated Block. And you will learn this all in this module. And later I am preparing more complex app using Block Pattern. And at that module you will learn a lot about Block using Multi-Block Provider. Try to study this module carefully, perfectly, and this will help you to easily understand our next modules. So, what is a block itself and what are the benefits of block? Flutter block is the way to go for most Flutter applications. It overcomes the lack of event based state management of provider. Furthermore, its toolset is extensive, making it usable for simpler and more complex applications and many companies working with large projects are creating those who knows the Flutter block. And as an example, I will explain the difference between a project done without block and that project is proceeded through block. So, let's begin from simple counter project, and we will also learn more complex projects later. This project is done without block, made with just only one stateful widget. The cons of the project is when the state is changed. I mean, when you increase or decrease the number, because of the set state, the whole build widget is built, every time. Unlike, Flutter block updates only the widgets that we need. You can see that with this debug print, so let's change the state several times. And here the text is printed as many times as I press the button. It means the whole widget is built every time when I change the state. And now I will make the project using block and also later I insert hydrated block to the project which helps us to store the state or data in the local memory. This project doesn't store the counter value, you can see it here. Increase the number and press hot restart. As you can see, it's going back to zero, which is the initial value of it. So, let's build this project using block. I don't need the stateful widget, get rid of it and instead type stateless widget. And also, I don't need this variable. Later, I implement it using block and just leave the on press it empty by now. I need some dependencies. Before going to the pub spec yaml file, I recommend you checking your extensions whether you have these useful extensions which I use in these projects. First, block. Second, bracket pair colorizer. Two. This second is optional. Third, dart data class generator. Fourth, dart import. Fifth, Material icon sim for folder icons, which is also optional. And last one, pub spec assist, which is very useful to import dependencies. Go to pub spec YAML and press Ctrl Shift P on Windows and Command Shift P on macOS. Search pub spec assist and select it. Now insert dependencies Flutter block and Equitable. Press Enter. And it added two new dependencies with the latest version and save your file or in terminal run flutter pub get command now right click to lib folder and select new block which comes from the block extension type counter and here we have initial counter block files for convenience we will open a separate folder and place these files in it. And we will add one more file to place the block imports. Import here flutter block and counter block files. That's all with this file. We will import it where we need it. And go to block state file. And create here counter variable to store counter value and make name it constructor. We are using the equitable packet so that we can compare instances of classes without having to manually overwrite equals and hash code. And here, the props we have to insert all instances of the class. 
We have an error because we have required parameter in the superclass. So I insert zero as an initial value. Now go to event class. We don't need this and here we will have two events, counter increment event and counter decrement event. And here we don't need this equitable at all. Save and go to counter block dart file. Here we will convert events to states. I mean we will tell the block on what event it should do. So on counter increment event, it emits new counter state with previous counter state value and adds one to it. Block auto creates abstract class and we don't need this abstract keyword here. Now, on decrement event, it emits new state taking previous state value with negative 1. And here, initial value is already implemented and set to 0. Next step, we'll implement block provider on main build widget. Place your cursor in the widget you want to wrap and use Ctrl plus dot shortcut to see the options. Use command plus dot for macOS. For Android Studio users, it's Option plus Return in Mac and Alt plus Enter in Windows. Select Block Provider and rename it Counter Block. And now, pay attention, we don't import Flutter Block or Counter Block, we just import Block Import Start file that were created before it includes all block packages. That's all here by now. Finally, implement Block Provider where we need it. We need counter value, so wrap this text widget with block builder and also import block imports dart file. Or you can import it manually by import dot dot forward slash block forward slash block imports. Save and this error because we have many changes, so stop your project and rerun it. Now, we can implement counter value here using this state. Wrap it with curly brackets and then state dot counter value. And let's implement on press it. The button decreases the values of type. Context dot read, counter block dot add, counter decrement event. And the same here, but counter increment event. Save and again stop and rerun the project. Let's test it. It's working perfect! As you can see, the print is working once only when we build the first time. Unlike in the previous application, it was working every time. This is a big advantage of the block. Now, we will learn the bug the states. For that, let's create new Dart file and name it as you want. I name it my block observer. And here, implement print functions, so that you can analyze every change of the states. Go to main.dart. And here, in the main function, wrap runApp with block overrides dot runzoned and simplify it. After that, show block observer class and also move its import to block imports file. Instead of import, just type export. Save it, how to restart the project.
Here you can see counter state was 0, next state is 1. The value 1 in now is current state. When we press increase button, next value becomes 2. That's why next state will be 2. This value is 1 now, current state. When we press increase button, next value becomes 2. That's why next state will be 2. Press button. Now current state 1. As I told you, next state I mean change state is 2. Conclusion. Current state is a state before we press and next state is a state after we press the buttons. Press decrease and current state was 2 and next state is 1. We're done with the block debug. Next, we are going to learn block listener. We have here block builder, just wrap it with block listener using Ctrl plus dot and select block listener. Write counter block and counter state. And here in counter state we need to separate the states into increment state and decrement state so that we can listen when which state is emitted. Create new increment state. And the same decrement state. Now, counter value is required, so the state receives new increased value as a parameter and then our required counter value becomes a new value. And all the same with decrement state. Finally, in counter block events emit different states. Counter increment event emits increment state. Counter decrement event emits decrement state. And the state now not named, so delete this named parameter. When user press decrement button, counter decrement event is called and it emits decrement state. And here this decrement value is set to counter value. It all works like this. Very easy, isn't it? Just hold restart. And it's still working perfect. Now we can implement our block listener. Here, if state is increment state, then Scaffold messenger dot of context dot snow snake bar snake bar context and in text widget type successfully increase it and set duration 300 milliseconds And else if statement, the same when state decrement state, just change text message. Save, stop and rerun your project. So it reloads many changes. Ready. We have no errors. So press increase button and now you see the message successfully increased. Now. You know that block listener must be provided with listener and a child. On the other hand, block builder only needs builder widget. It has no child widget. We have used this block listener and block builder separately. Instead, we can combine them in one block consumer. For that, cut the listener by now. Delete unnecessary parts. Pass the listener back and change block builder to block consumer. Finally, save and it's all perfect. We have merged them and all things work as before. If you want to use both block listener and block builder, just do it with block consumer. Hot restart and test it.
final thing that we have to do is to store the block state in the local memory. I mean, if you hot restart the project, this 7 becomes 0. Or if you leave the application with certain state and after a while when you rerun it, you will see that state is 0. To save its state, we need hydrated block. So, next we will learn hydrated block. Hydrated block exports a storage interface, which means it can work with any storage provider. Out of the box, it comes with its own implementation, hydrated storage. Hydrated storage is built on top of Hive for a platform agnostic performance storage layer. Shared preferences is on par with Hive when it comes to read performance. SQLite performs much worse. Hive greatly outperforms SQLite and shared preference when it comes to writing and deleting. Hydrated block speed is much more faster than shared preference, you can see it in the picture. Go to PubSpec YAML file, press Ctrl Shift or plus dot on VS Code or Android Studio option plus return in Mac and Alt Enter in Windows. Search PubSpec Assist and type Hydrated block and pass provider. The two dependencies have been added. Save it and on terminal run Flutter pub get. Hydrated storage will call native call, so we need to initialize widget biddings before we start building our app. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to call the native call. Then, export hydrated block package to block imports file. Then, in main file, import pass provider. Now we can create storage variable, which is equal to hydrate storage dot. Built in, we have to show the its directory, which is application document directory. We will get this directory in future, so we need a sync and await here. Next, change this block overrides into hydrated block overrides and now we can implement its storage. All done with the main file. Next, go to counter state. Select counter state and press Ctrl plus dot or Alt plus enter on Android Studio. And select here JSON serialization. This JSON serialization came from Dart Data Class Generator extension, which I told you at the beginning of tutorial. Delete these unnecessary things. We don't need Dart convert and from JSON to JSON functions. We need only from map to map, that's all. Go to counter block and change the hydrated block. And import block imports file. And here create two missing hydrated block overrides. First, we implement from JSON. Just return counter stain dot from map and send JSON, which is map as a parameter. Second, and here we just return state dot to map. And save all your unsaved files. Stop the app and rerun it. So, it's ready, now it's time to check it. Sorry guys, this happens when sometimes it cannot determine Flutter SDK pass or Android license, so this error is not a big deal. Don't worry. Just run this command. Flutter dash dash Android dash license. After that, stop and rerun the app. Now pay attention to counter value which is 9 right now and hot restart. And as you see it didn't go back to initial value 0, remain it still 9. And close the app. 
reopen it. If you run into a problem in any part, I suggest you to watch this tutorial twice. Wait for the next amazing tutorial that I'm preparing right now. It's also about block with more complex project. Please support us. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Appreciate your time.